Welcome to the new Farming Simulator 19 Guide 2 series with me, Mr. Sealy P. Chickens. That's what I'm going to be doing this guide to um, on first, simply because they've changed quite a lot. Um, we've got horses now as well, and obviously we've got placeables for the sheep and the pigs and the, and the cows. And we go to the livestock market and you can buy them all different colours and individually now and that kind of thing. On FS15, you had the ability to buy chickens, and you could buy as, you know, as many as you wanted for all intents and purposes, um, and they produced eggs. On 17, the ability to buy them was taken away, so you would have a chicken coop, and they would have a set amount in, and they would produce a set amount of eggs. Well, now we're back to being able to place chicken coops and buy them. I wasn't too sure how that all kind of happened, so I thought, you know what, if I'm not too sure, I'm sure there are other people out there that aren't too sure, so that's what I'm going to do this guide to on what I've done, I've come down to field 21 on the southern part of the map simply because it's nice and flat across here so I've bought field 21. I started this one on the uh, farm manager mode with 1,250,000 so I bought the field I think it was 147,000 and this luckily enough had wheat in it so I harvested it. All the equipment I've got at the moment I've leased, I've got a few different bits uh, that I'm going to be using and I've leased them. It's not perfectly flat but it will do um, what I have done then, the wheat that came off this field is in this trailer. I've got the New Holland T6 Blue Power. Very nice indeed. Um, so I've got wheat in the back of there. What I also did from the store, I've leased the John Deere Gator. I've got the Stroutman, uh, I can't remember the name of it, SEK is it? We'll have a look. Um, I went to the store and I bought some premium chicken feed. Uh, so what you can do for that is, if I get the right menu, if I go across to uh, Big Bags and then go to Wheat Big Bag, uh, you buy those. Now, interestingly, they've got a slot count. When you buy the first one, it's got a slot count of three, and every one after that is one. So I was on... 561, whatever it was. I'm wondering, when I use them, whether that slot count disappears, because if the slot count continues to increase even when you've used them that's a bit worrying that at the moment is saying 565 so we'll, we need to check that I've got to remember to come back and check that so I picked those up from the store I also leased the Manitou forklift truck one to load up this trailer to bring them down and two to unload it now I could have done that with front loader forks on uh, the New Holland or any other smallish tractor I could have put front loader forks on and done it with a front loader and pallet forks it doesn't really matter the gator interesting enough manages to pull this it hooks up and the back of the gator lifts right up off the ground then when the support goes up it drops down and it pulled it no problem to be fair it only had two two feed pallets on um, so let me just have a quick look to make sure if I go to garage and then go to least items uh, oh no, I went for the oh yeah, the SEK802 and I've got that in bale uh, configuration with the straps, the Agroliner TKD302, Manitou MC 184 the John Deere Gator, I'm not, you know, XUV, blah blah blah, T6175. So now, placing them, what we need to do is have some chicken coops before we can even have chickens. So first up will be to go to placeables animal pens top left hand corner when we click on that we've got a couple of options we can have a chicken coop for 20,000 and a chicken coop for 40,000 now this is where the mass is interesting both of them are four slots so it makes no difference if you can afford to go for the large chicken coop and you've got the space do it simply because the 20,000 one will hold a hundred I think that's what that means there a place to keep your chickens um, that will take a hundred in total for double the price, you can hold 400. So the weird thing is if you bought two of the small ones, that would cost the same as that, you'd still only be able to have 200. Whereas if you pay that one, you've got 400. So, I don't know, depends how much money you've got. Now it does down, say down the bottom left, um, that you can feed them wheat or barley, doesn't matter which one. I've got wheat and it does say wheat big bags is what you buy, but anyway. So the first one I'm gonna place is the small coop and I'm gonna spin this round just to make life easy for myself, I'm going to have the placeable bits of the points at the start. Why does that not let me place? Oh, it's because I've got the tractors there, haven't I? 
Let's move that back a bit. Oh, that's irritating. Okay, not to worry. I'll try and straighten up as best I can. And let's place that. So that's the small chicken coop for 20,000. I'm now going to do the large chicken coop. Now it's got this thing, and it's very weird. If I open up this menu, hang on, let's come out and open up. Uh, help window on. Back into that, back into that, back into that. It says, if you go down the left hand side, it says back, reset camera, fair enough, grid snapping. Now I'm not too sure what that is. Um, so I kind of was rotating things around. If I press grid snapping now, R1, I don't know if it kind of locks it into place, puts it in a particular position. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so I'm going to place that one. And that's our two place. I didn't rotate that one around. Ah, now you can see the fact this uh, this looks fairly flat, but quite clearly it's not because it's put in this entire rise, which means. Whoa, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even look at the price of that. What just happened there? That just said 140,000, didn't it? That was supposed to be 40,000 to place. Whoa. Let me try that again. Oh, it's not going to let me now because I don't own that bit of land, do I? I should have placed that one further back. I would have got away with it. I wonder if it would let me place a smaller one. No. No. Yeah, it will. Now that's interesting. Whoa, yeah, look. Depending on where you place it, look at the top left hand corner. As I'm moving that, look at the price moving. Depending on the land itself, how flat it is and how much work needs to be done. So a 20,000 chicken coop will cost me 99,000 if I'm not paying attention to where I place it. If I just look and go, oh, 20,000, bomb, plonk it. That's terrifying. If I spin that round and try and put that somewhere else. No, it won't let me. That's quite scary. That is very scary. Oh, got a flash there. 98,000. Another little flash. 111,000. Yeah, so depending on the groundworks that need to be done. Blimey. Well, I wasn't aware of that. So you know what? Be very, very careful when you're placing your placeables. Because this 40 grand chicken coop just cost me 150 odd grand or something. And I've put it around the wrong way. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Irrelevant. So what we've got is we've got a gate here that we can open. How lovely. Around the side we've got our feed trough. That will take wheat or barley, and just like any other animals in game, that needs to be cle kept clean. The feed trough, um, or the sp overspill area, here is where the egg boxes will spawn, and just here we can open our animal dialog box. So when we open our dialog box, this is where we can buy our chickens from. Now it does say a transport fee is applied if you do not transport the animals with your own animal trailer. Now that's weird because I don't remember up at the when we went to the livestock market on the first look map tour it having the option to buy chickens up there unless you have to have a coop first mate. No that doesn't because I didn't have any of the others either. Don't know that's a bit weird so I'm going to get charged but anyway I need one rooster. I don't but I'm going to have one rooster. Um, this will hold 400 so it doesn't really matter. Now here's my next issue. I'm clicking away quite merrily nowhere on that screen does it give me a total I have absolutely no idea let's get some black ones as well no idea how many chickens I've bought now I've got the buy thing there it says 4,500 then the fee I could do the maths and work out 4,500 divided by $50 and you know but wouldn't it make more sense to have a running total so you've got some idea I don't know that's just Anyway, there isn't one. There's no running total. So confirm. That just cost us 6,350 on livestock. 
and then 1,905 on other. So we've got a load of chickens in there. How fantastic. Uh, remember this is the larger one. Now I can do the same on the smaller one, exactly the same, no different, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Here's your feed trough, which needs to be kept clean around the side. We've got our animal dialogue box, we've got our gate that can open and close, and we've got where our egg boxes are going to spawn. So, I'm going to do it with the one over here, simply because that's what I put the chickens in. Now, this will work with either... You can either put loose wheat or barley in. Now, someone did say, if you sell these afterwards, if you decide you don't want them, it leaves the land landscaped. You can't put that back, apparently. Should have gone another way, shouldn't I? Anyway... Um, so you can do this with either loose or you can do it with pallets. It really doesn't matter which. If you don't try... Oh, that's brilliant. Awesome. Anyway, what great driving. I have found um, the steering can be a little bit sluggish. Now, I've been fiddling around with the... There's a setting. Yeah, see, I, I'm not sure I like that down the bottom. The thing that keeps coming up when you have to... It gives you the instructions to load, unload. I get it if you're new to the game and you're not too sure what to do. If you've been playing the game for a long time... You don't really need either of the menus open. And I'm not sure how to get rid of that. If anyone knows, pop it in the comments. That would be really, really helpful. Right. Done a little bit loose. And just to show you. You don't need any water for them, which is a bit odd. I would have thought, if you're going to go the whole hog now... The whole hog. Ha ha. If you're going to go all in... Um rise up, start up um, and you're going to have animals that you can buy now and feed and whatever, why not water surely the chickens do need water as well I mean you think, wouldn't you but anyway you don't, they don't need water so this is incredibly good over rough terrain but if it's a forklift so just to show you chicken feed will work, it's obviously going to work out more expensive to use chicken feed once you get into that sale point that's going to start on sell point there. Unload point, that will start to unload. It devours a thousand litres in no time. And there we go. So that's them fed. I've got chickens in there. We're placed. Fantastic. So what I can do now is I'm going to go up to this top menu again. And I'm going to go to my animals one, which is right there. And again, there's no total. No running total. This tells me I've got 37 chickens brown, 29 chickens black, one rooster, and 60 chickens white. Productivity is saying 10% at the moment. They've just been fed. That will need to reset. Um, cleanliness is obviously on zero as well because it's literally just started. You will also get a reproduction rate. So your animals will reproduce. The chickens will reproduce just like any other animals did in FS17. And they're doing the rest of this game. Um, and weirdly enough, down the bottom it says eggs, zero. I thought that was zero, one. That's actually litres. I don't know why it says litres, why it doesn't just have a number. Because as that number was going up, I kept thinking to myself, because I, I tested this out earlier, I thought I'll, I'll give it a go, because I wasn't sure. Um, I kept thinking, why is that still on one? Why is it not two, three, or it's litres? I've never had litres of uh, eggs before. Anyway, unless I suppose you crack them into a jug or something, and what I'm going to do, just to speed this process along somewhat, I'm going to buy some more. I'm going to get a load more. Um, so we'll just buy a load more of these. Buy a load more of these. Buy a load more of these. Don't know how many I've got. But we've got a load. And confirm. Let's check this menu again. So 50, 50, 92, and 1. 193. It's not 400, but not bad. So as you can see, the wheat and barley isn't fantastic. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed up time. Because what I want to do is I want to see where the egg boxes spawn, how big they are. Um, this bit I haven't done. I don't know how long it takes. I would imagine, obviously, depending on how many chickens you've got, will depend how many. If you've got a maximum of 400, it's going to keep going. Now, as far as I'm aware... You can place multiple under these. So if you want to have just a chicken farm and you want to have 800, 1200 chickens or whatever, 
why not be my guest i suppose you still need to do crops you need to do wheat or barley to feed them won't you? you need to keep the feed areas clear so you could be a chicken farmer if you just fancy doing that um yeah anyway uh so what i'm gonna do is speed up time into the menu uh real time let's go to 120. let's watch the clouds if there are any no there's no clouds i'll say watch the clouds roll in take that menu off Now, the other menu should have reset now. There we go. So, conditions. Cleanliness is 99%. Productivity is 99%. No eggs as of yet. But we have got a reproduction rate for the white chickens. 1 hour 45 for a new one. The black ones, 4 hours. And the brown chickens, 3 hours 45. We have 1 litre of eggs. Which I'm assuming means we've got a box now. Fantastic. So we now have a box, although that only has one litre of eggs in it. Don't know if that means it's got one egg in it. I really don't know. <laughs> so anyway, right, so that's the egg box. Time will now whiz along, and hopefully we'll get more than one egg box. I might need to put some more wheat in, actually. And we'll see how we get on. So, I took the liberty of buying some more to speed up the production. Overnight, it slows down um, because I think they're sleeping. You might have just seen behind that screen. Another box has just fallen. Um, we've got three and a bit because we've just started a new one. What I also did overnight... That's what we we'll do. Let's turn that back to real time. What I also did was went and leased a front loader and a bucket because this, this feed trough was getting a real state. Although it's still only saying like 90 something or 80 something percent. That's obviously in relation to how many animals you've got. So, just the same as any animal area. Keep that clear and you'll keep your production up as high as possible. So what I'm going to do now, I brought over the John Deere Gator during the night as well. I've put the back down. Now this is where this gets a little bit more challenging. <laughs> Lift that up. I don't want to break any of these, obviously. Just pop that there. Now you can rotate these round now. Whoa, hang on. Don't mean to get up on the back of there. Just leave it there, shall we? Yep. Uh, I think it might only take a couple, I don't know. Depends what the trailer you've got. We'll stick this one on top. That one's the one. They seem to fill from the back forward, so that's the newest one that's got the least in. Now, if I'm... If I remember correctly, let me put these up. If I go, is it L1? Yeah, I can rotate side to side on my right joystick or forward and backward. So for things like loading, it can be a lot easier <laughs> if you're careful. Which I'm not normally, you know. Let's pop that down about there. Put the strap on like so and we've got three boxes of eggs 
Now I saw a message, uh, was it in the forum or on Discord? Someone was asking, um, that's fantastic, where do I sell them? Oh, another thing to point out, something worth noting. The field, well, I don't like that, I want that collisions camera thing that we used to have on FS17, we need that because that's horrible. Disable co camera collision, is it? This was the field that I harvested, and overnight, look at the weeds. Whoa! So any field you've done, you leave it, you're going to get weeds in it. That's quite scary how many came through overnight. Now, as far as selling eggs go, that's going to drive me mad. Why is it doing that? That's horrible. Don't like that at all. Um, you can sell your eggs at any of the sell points. Um, there's not a specific egg sell point that, like they used to be on FS17. I'll have a quick show you in the menu. This is the back of the restaurant. It doesn't have to be the restaurant, it can be anywhere. Um, if we go along to our sell points, like so. If we scroll across, we get the egg there, just in the middle, and you can sell them at any of the sell points. I uh, say any of them. Central Grain Elevator, Port Grain Elevator, Ranch and Restaurant will all take eggs. So what should happen now is... <laughs> we'll go into there. Oh, seriously. There we go. So we just made about what six hundred ninety six three hundred forty eight, well over a grand on eggs. Now you're going to need a lot of chickens to make a lot of money doing this. So it might tide you over a bit. And like I said, right at the very start, <laughs> although I kind of taught myself something, your land needs to be as flat as it can be because if it's not, you are going to get absolutely clobbered. Um, and don't get me wrong, I know. Again, another discussion on the forum or on discord was if companies were building a house or building a barn or doing something for you and they had to level the land to bring in that that earth to level it it's going to cost you money of course it is absolutely it is so what i'm saying is rightly or wrongly try and get as flat as you possibly can and that is chickens chickens 101 buy the place ball stick it on flat land or buy the land first Placeables, buy your chickens, get some wheat and barley in there, make sure you keep the feed trough clear, and Bob's your uncle. Eggs, and when you've got your eggs, take them to any sell point you want. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, oh, birds, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, Thanks for watching.